And welcome back. Once again, I'm joined by Trooper Ross Brennan, who is the public information officer for Troop C here in the area in recruiting. He always has Troop C or any police law enforcement in the arena. They have to recruit, get good prospects. And from what I understand, we got a couple of new ones in Troop C. We do. We got two that just started today. All right. And can you tell us a little bit about them? Yeah. So, um, these troopers are from cadet class 102. Uh, it started back in February of 19th of this year, and it was 24 weeks long. And they learned a lot to traditional police related stuff like firearms, defensive driving, things like that. But they've also were uh, extensively trained in also fair and impartial policing, constitutional policing, um, also de-escalation. So it's a new generation of police officers that we're trying to bring up and especially troopers through our ranks. And so um, these two, that started with us. Um, we got Haley Constantine and Austin Howard. Now, Haley there, she is from the Baton Rouge area. Um, it's her first time in law enforcement. She attended LSU for a degree in criminology. She was also part of a sorority. She's part of Kappa Alpha Theta Delta Kappa chapter for full time at LSU. And uh, she also worked at her parents' business. They had a, a, a business. And she's recently engaged, so congratulations to her. But she wanted to join uh, state police, wanted to give back to her community. And so while she's not from the Troop C area, um, she wanted to just give back to her state and help serve and had that servant's heart to be able to give back. And then uh, the other one that we got was Austin Howard. So Austin is from the Wallace area. He went to Southern University for a degree in criminal justice. He actually played football. So he's a football player. Yeah. He played from uh, 2014 to 2017. He was part of a fraternity, Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity over there. And uh, whenever he left there, he was a school teacher and also a football coach at one of the uh, schools out in the Wallace area. And so just like Haley, he had no prior law enforcement experience. But his thing with joining state police is that he wanted to bridge that gap between uh, the minority community and also law enforcement. He wanted mm -hmm. them to be able to see somebody who looked like them be able to achieve the uh, the goal of being a state trooper and help them change them, maybe change that mind of state police or just police in general. It isn't just what you see on TV. Mm -hmm. There's a whole lot more that goes involved into it. And so that's our two new people that we that we mm -hmm. have at Troop C. We, uh, we, there was 48 in the entire, or correction, there was 40 in the entire class. They started off with 48. Yeah, let's um, bring that picture up because I guess that, that leads to the next question. How do they tell or make the decision which ones out of this group are coming to Troop C? So during the hiring process, uh, the command up in headquarters, they allocate certain amount of troopers for each troop. So Troop C in this particular batch, we actually were allocated three. We had three that started the academy, only two ended up graduating. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, the other person decided to, uh, to withdraw from the academy. So uh, it's based off of, um, I guess, current... Uh, not, I'm saying manpower, but certain uh, traffic and stuff like that, like mm -hmm. just kind of what's going on in those troops to determine, okay, like, hey, we're going to give you four or five or three this this academy. So it changes every every academy. Um, we actually have another academy that's going to be coming up. It's going to be starting September 24th for this year, Cadet Class 103. Um, we're hoping to uh, maybe get four from that cadet class and then in the future beyond they're hoping to have another cadet class uh 104 to be in may of next year so and how many normally during a year's time classes do you have we're trying to get to the point where we're having two cadet classes a year mm -hmm. um that's again that's something we're trying to get to um lately it's been that way but it's all based off of budget and funding and things such as that uh, to be able to put on a, a, a cadet class. Because we're short mm -hmm. troopers across the whole state. We're about 150 troopers short across the entire state. Which 150? 150 troopers. Wow. So just like every profession, we have, you know, we have employment issues and stuff. So we actually have a, a – we got a little bit of a pay raise to hopefully recruit and retain some of these troopers. Mm -hmm. We're starting our pay at about $56,000 now, up about 2000 from what it used to be. So we're hoping to try to draw more uh, recruits to be able to come, new applicants, and hopefully keep them around for a little bit longer. You know, as you look at recruiting uh, across the spectrum, I know there's some young ones, say young ones, young adults, <laughs> I'm getting old, I guess, that are, that are looking and going, man, I think I could do that. What are you looking for? So... Of course, we have the, the standard stuff, right? You have to have a uh, be able to pass a background check, mm -hmm. um, be able to pass physical fitness standards. But we're also looking for people that are service minded, community uh, minded, uh, be able to just want to get back to community. We don't want just a robot to be able to come out the academy. We want somebody who's compassionate, who's empathetic, who's able to relate to somebody. Because 
a lot of times when we, when we interact with people, it might be on the worst day of their life, whether it's a car crash or something else. And so we need to know how to be able to connect with that person, understand what those emotions are that they're going through mm -hmm. to be able to help one either deescalate that situation or have a better outcome for everybody involved. Yeah, and it's, I guess y'all get to meet a lot of people too, and it, it becomes a fraternity, and I don't say fraternity, meaning there's no women. It could be a sorority too for that matter, but are you finding more women are trying to, to take that field? So this cadet class had one of the largest amounts of females than ones before it. So we are starting to attract more females. That's definitely something that we want to be a more diverse police force, not only just females, but we want people that look like the communities that they're serving. It's one of the things that Austin Howard was wanting to be able to give back. So if you are interested in joining state police, definitely now is the time. Uh, you can always go to lsp.org. Uh, we have a tab, how to be a trooper, and it has all the facts and questions, this process of the hiring of what you need to be able to submit and turn in and things like that. And so it's definitely a great time to join it. It's not like what it used to be, police force. We want it a lot. Again, we want just people who, able, who want to give back to communities and help serve in the way that they can. And I appreciate you coming on. Maybe you could bring the, the new troopers on. And we'll meet them. And uh, as always, thank you for what you do and thank Troop C. We appreciate the transparency and uh, keep our fingers crossed, Trooper Brennan, hurricane season. And yeah, like we, golf we want to see you on regular stuff, not that kind of stuff. Exactly. Good to see you again. Same to you. All right, Trooper Ross Brennan, we'll take a break here on Bayou Time. We have a lot more. Don't go away.